Yo, what's going on, you guys? Um, I hope you're not finding quarantine too difficult. I know you've all got a ridiculous amount of spare time. I've been making the most of it, and uh, as a result, I think that I'm finally ready to reveal to you I've been working on an Acoff computer game called Space Bears. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, there is the 3D model of the main character, Acoff. Um, <laughs> like, I won't take credit for the, uh, the actual model itself because um, it's actually released through uh, Unreal Engine, which is the program that I'm using. Um, they created a game called Paragon and they released all the 3D assets from their game for free for people to use. Um, if you've been following my music from the beginning, you know that I'm obsessed with bears and that Acov has always been represented by a yellow-eyed um, kind of cyborg bear. So this was a bit too good to be true, to be honest. Uh, so the main character, the hardest part was basically already done for me. The little dude next to him, I haven't decided what to name him yet, but he's essentially uh, your friend that follows you around and guides you through the game. Um, let me just demonstrate the, um, the kind of menu for you. You can just see the character moving there. Um, so yeah, Space Bears. The idea is that uh, you kind of unlock my music throughout the game, so it's just a point and click kind of shoot em up. Uh, absolutely zero thought involved in it at all for the player. Um, the idea is that um, at the end of every level, you unlock a new EP. So for every uh, EP I've released so far, I'm gonna try and make an individual level. Shitload of work, I know. Um, the idea of this thing is it's gonna be a fully realized kind of 3D game. It's not gonna be some kind of um, Tetris style little mini game. It's gonna be fully realized, it's gonna be like space missions and everything. Um, it's been a year that I've been working on this already. I've just been following tutorials on YouTube. Um, and I'll give a shout out to those that have been kind of really helping me from the beginning. Uh, there's, it's kind of quite hard to find some good channels, get some good information. Um, some of the Unreal Engine community is really helpful, some of them not so much. Uh, my experience has been a bit kind of like hot and cold, but it's, uh, it's got me to where I am right now and I'm pretty happy with that. I put a lot of time in um, and as well as keeping music coming out, um, I've been quite busy. Uh, but yeah, like I say, it's been about a year and I'd like to show you the demo room. I'll just load this up quickly. Um, so basically, I've got this demo room where I test out all the functionalities of the game, uh, all the different bits and pieces, make sure they're running smoothly. Um, and it's like a debug room, essentially. Um, and so there's just a bunch of different random things here. Obviously, it's not going to look very pretty. Uh, this is sort of the nothing space where everything gets tested. Um, I'll just walk over here quickly and I'll just demonstrate to you uh, the player. So it's kind of an over the shoulder third person uh, shoot him up and um, I'd just like to point out obviously the main thing that attracted me to this was creating all the sounds from scratch so everything you hear has been created by myself. Um, when it comes to the physical uh, actual 3D assets um, like I said, those have either been bought uh, from other creators or been released for free. Unreal Engine released quite a lot of pretty useful stuff every month for free. So I've managed to make do with quite a lot of free content. Um, that's my little dude up there helping. You can help name him if you want. I haven't thought of anything yet. Leave a suggestion in the comments. Um, let me just demonstrate the kind of locomotion. So here's the walking, there's a sprint. Uh, I've got a jump and I've also got a jetpack as well. And um, that's, not, that's kind of going to be limited to that. It's just a good fun way to run through levels and shoot stuff up. Um, you've got two different weapons. You have the machine gun here and also the laser gun. Uh, so these both have sights that you can zoom in with so you can sort of get a little bit of first person action going in there. Uh, same with this and the zoom. Uh, and I just wanted to demonstrate these different biomes. So the idea is that different levels will have different, um, you know, some will be snowy, some will be sandy, kind of desert desert worlds. And you'll be going on to different alien kind of worlds trying to save human artifacts, which will be my music. <clears throat> Let me just demonstrate the snow here. So as you can see, it's reactive to where I'm standing, which is quite fun. And there's just some snow particles. Um, here we have some grass. Uh, I'm not really happy with how the grass is looking, but it's just more to demonstrate the reactivity of it. So when I walk through the grass, it kind of moves around me. Um, but I'll try and find something a little more alien and less cartoony looking. Um, likewise, there is also a mud kind of uh, texture here, which again, sort of reacts with the um, with where I'm walking. So 
yeah, he's kind of this big, heavy, lumbering robot, and I haven't got any music playing right now, just so it's easier for me to explain stuff, but if I hit the M key, here is the music player, and um, I've just got the Shapeshifter EP loaded in right now from uh, my first release on EatBrain. And the idea is you can just run around the game with the music playing, and obviously the whole soundtrack to the game will be my tunes. So the idea is it's just a fun way to listen to Neurofunk and blast stuff it's a smithereens. Um, let me start to demonstrate the different enemies we have. So, um, these ones are called squiddies, and you run through a trigger point, and then they'll start spawning, and when they come anywhere close to you, they'll explode. So it's kind of like a stressy moment where you want to shoot everything out of the air. There's a portal that opens, and they start coming for you. <laughs> Just let a couple get close. And you can see in the bottom right there is the health, which is my green bar, and um, the red is indicating the rage. There's little uh, orange orbs that are coming off of them and things that you collect. And the blue is my armor, which you can see is regenerating now. And the orange represents the fuel gauge for my jetpack, which is limited, but it also replenishes itself. Um, there's more of the rage orbs. Okay, so this guy is called a grunt, and he's like one of the main kind of um, enemies, and the AI is pretty stupid right now, like he can't see very far, that's deliberately, otherwise they see me from like halfway across the map, but uh, let's just shoot him up, and I'll also demonstrate some of the environmental um, kind of objects, there is the barrel here. Uh, they can also blow each other up, so if I shoot this one, it should trigger that one and then blow up those rocks. Had a little bit of a glitch there. Um, this is just a physics object to demonstrate that even moving objects through the snow kind of works. Um, and then I also have some pickups here, so let me just demonstrate what these are. I have the, um, the uh, laser ammo, the uh, machine gun ammo, the health kit. I also have the fuel for the jetpack and some more grenades. And I don't think I've demonstrated the grenades yet. Um, so you just sort of have like a path tracing finder like this. And boom. Uh, this guy is called a Graxillion. He's one of the more difficult enemies and he's protected by a force field, which you can only bring down by uh, shooting his rockets when they get, uh, when they're close enough to him. So I'll demonstrate that. <laughs> there we go. And uh, that little voice that you heard is a little uh, sample of voice acting I'm doing for my friend who seems to have forgotten to follow me. He's over there somewhere. He's fallen outside of the bounds of where he's allowed to follow me, so uh, that kind of glitched out. Like I say, nothing's really perfect right now. It's all a work in progress, but this is... Uh, a place to try and work it all out. Uh, these are power sources. Now, when you destroy these, they open up um, these gates, which will eventually lead to the bosses. So if I just shoot down these. <laughs> just fucking blew myself up with my grenade, fantastic. <laughs> Don't want to be too close to these. Go. Oh shit. Oh, sorry about that, a bit stressy. <laughs> um, yeah, the idea of the game is it's going to be quite fast paced and it's not too much thought put into it, but it'll just be fun, lots of destruction going on. Uh, again, take down this. Okay, now once these are destroyed, it will open up a gate. So this gate will open up and reveal the boss. Uh, I might need some more ammunition to take him on. So I'm just going to go over here quickly. And get these. He looks pretty menacing over there, as you can see. Um, and he has a kind of similar attack to the Graxillion, the kind of the shielded enemy that I had. Um, 
I'm just gonna shoot these out there. And then after this, you kind of unlock, um, after you defeated the uh, boss, sorry, then you unlock these artifacts. So at the end of the level will be these kind of boxes um, which contain four tracks, um, you know, maybe more or maybe less, uh, depending on what my latest release is. And the idea is that for every level I will make a, um, every EP I'll make a new level. And then you escape on a spaceship at the end and there'll be a kind of space level where you travel between planets and those were reserved for my kind of more relaxing tracks, like if I make any liquid ones. Um, so this sort of demonstrates a lot of the functionality of it. Um, like I said, um, it's a work in progress and it's not supposed to be too complex. The idea is actually I need to focus on the music, which I haven't really got to yet. It's taken me a long time to just get these kind of foundations down. I will, um, I will go into detail with the tutorial level that I'm building at the moment, which sort of is going to be the first playable level, which I'm going to release for free for people to try out. Um, and I want to get a little team together to try and get this finished eventually. I might even crowdfund it. Uh, let me know if you guys would be up for supporting something like that. Uh, it is just a passion project for me anyway. It's just it will happen a lot quicker if I do get a team of people together. If not, I imagine in two, three years down the line, I might start having something I can put out. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud and happy to show you guys this. Uh, it's been something I've been keeping secret for a while and been working pretty hard on it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there hasn't really been a drum and bass artist that's released like a full 3D game like this. So who knows, could start something. Um, and it's just a way for people to kind of rediscover a lot of my old music. And it's a fun way. Um, I could even feature other people's music eventually, who knows. But yeah, um, that's what I'll show you for this time. Uh, this is going to be the first video up on my YouTube, so if you can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and share this about, that'd be great. And yeah, keep healthy, uh, stay safe, keep indoors, and uh, let's hope that life gets back to normal soon. Until then, I'll be making this game. Peace, cheers.